You have been trying to learn Web3, but you are looking for the ultimate developer roadmap and you have found it in this video. I saw this post from Patrick and it showed this beautiful graphic showing the Web3 developer roadmap. I love it because it clearly breaks things down. So for example, when you click here, they actually have links to articles. However, it is intimidating. Let's go through a simpler version of this roadmap. Everything I'm discussing here, you can find links to in this blockchain developer roadmap. And I also have another video on my channel showing you Web3 resources if you'd like some courses, podcasts, DAOs, etc. to get started. So let's cover the blockchain basics. So the things you're going to cover in the blockchain basics section, is what is decentralization? What is distributed ledger technology? And then what is blockchain technology? There are many different types of distributed ledgers. There's also hash graphs as well, but blockchain technology is the one that's most widely used today. Now we're going to go through the blockchain features. So I want you to understand things like crypto accounts, crypto wallets, crypto transactions. You may already know about crypto accounts and wallets because you have a crypto account already and you use something like MetaMask. Crypto transactions, I would like you to pay attention to just so you can understand what kind of transactions occur on the blockchain. For example, you are sending data from one smart contract to another or you're sending cryptocurrency tokens. Miners are responsible for validating the blockchain and they're incentivized with the blockchain's native token. Forks is also a big one. So forks are basically when there are two versions of the chain that can occur whenever there's an upgrade if some of the miners don't upgrade. So one popular fork is, for example, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. On a blockchain, in order for all of the nodes to agree on which transactions are valid, they use a consensus protocol. So a very popular one is called proof of work, and that is what the Bitcoin blockchain uses. But there's also a proof of stake, which is what Ethereum is changing to when they do the merge. Also, blockchains like Polygon and Celo already use proof of stake. Also, learn about test nets. So there are main networks, and then there are the test networks. But whenever you're deploying your small contracts and you're testing them, don't deploy to a mainnet. You don't want to have to pay gas fees on a mainnet. Deploy in the test net where the tokens have no real value, but it mimics the original blockchain or the production environment of a blockchain. By the way, everything I'm discussing here, you can come to this roadmap and get information. For example, decentralization, there are links and there are also links to basic blockchain operations, the structure, blockchain transactions. So definitely use mine as a guide because I want you to get started as soon as possible and not overwhelmed by all of the information here. So now you have to cover some blockchain. So of course, you know about Bitcoin blockchain, but we are going to also cover blockchains like Ethereum because the Ethereum blockchain was the first successful smart contract blockchain. So this makes it so that we can create apps that run on the blockchain. So learn about Ethereum and learn about other Ethereum-like blockchains chains or what I've called here EVM-based smart contract platforms. So that is Celo, Polygon, Avalanche, Phantom, Binance Smart Chain, etc. So learn about layer twos and the main goal of a layer two is to extend the scalability of the layer one blockchains and the layer one blockchains are the ones like Ethereum, Bitcoin, etc. Learn about interoperability, the ability for blockchains to send transactions between each other and recognize these transactions so that the users have a smoother process. In the smart contract section, I want you to cover things like the programming language is used. For example, in EVM blockchains, you will use Solidity, but for a blockchain like Solana or Nier, you can use Rust or even JavaScript on Nier. The Remix IDE is a web-based developer environment which you can use to write your smart contract code, in this case Solidity, test it, and deploy it straight to a blockchain. Also learn about faucets. So there are faucets that give you free tokens to use in a test net. Learn about gas fees. Whenever you deploy a transaction or conduct any transaction where you're writing data to the blockchain, you have to pay gas fees. Learn about different types of token standards, for example, ERC-20 and ERC-721. Learn about the blockchain data model. So for example, there are no decimal points on a blockchain. By the end of this section, I want you to have your first deployment to a testnet. Learn about smart contract frameworks such as Hardhat and Truffle, Ganache, Testing, Open Zeppelin. These are all developer operational tools which would make working with a blockchain easier have to learn how to create your own decentralized applications, which means you're going to have to work on the blockchain side as well as the front end. So DAPS is short for decentralized application. And you're going to learn about JavaScript libraries because when you're creating a front end for blockchain apps, you're going to use Web2 technologies such as JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. But you need to use libraries which allow you to communicate with the blockchain, just like how you'd use a library to allow you to communicate with an API or some backend. So in this case, the libraries that are very popular are Web3.js and Ethos.js. Also, in order for you to write data to a blockchain and read data from a blockchain, you can either run your own node or you can use a node service such as Infura or Quick. 
quick note, I think, as one. Well. And you can learn other programming languages as well, such as JavaScript and Python, and use some front end framework so you can make the applications look nice, for example, React.js. And if you're doing something like an NFT project or something that requires you to store data, and, and this data is connected to what they have purchased, and I highly recommend you use decentralized storage, such as IPFS and Filecoin. There's also decentralized data oracles, which you use if you're interacting with data from the real world. In that section, I hope that you build an application. And if you would like a tutorial or a course that shows you how to do that, again, check out my video, which shows you a bunch of courses or you can sign up for a course on Darkade, use the link in my description. And when you complete that course and also submit the challenge, you can receive 100 CUSD as a reward. Create an ERC20 token. There's a video for that on my channel. Create an NFT collection, swap crypto using code. All these things I have on my channel. Create an entire DAP. If you do the course, you will be able to create a DAP. And continue learning. There are so many things you can learn. And especially if you look at <laughs> this, you see that there are many things you can learn and this list will continue to grow. So get on it now, you know, learn about decentralized node services, because the ones I mentioned before, like in Fira, that's centralized. So, the, so you can be subject to single points of failure. Look at rollups, DeFi, DAOs, learn about the types of attacks and exploits that do happen to smart contracts. Because remember, you most likely are transacting some value. So you want to make sure that your smart contract is secure. You have to be a more responsible developer if you're interacting with financial services. And then finally, these companies might be the Google of the future. So I highly recommend you get in now. And that's why I promoted so much on my channel. You now have a web free developer roadmap, no excuses. And I would love to see people commenting on this video even a year from now saying, this is a video that I watched, a normal web three developer. There are playlists on my channel, which shows you how you can get started. So share this video and get started soon.